my baby is four months and next week he will be five months <laughs> Welcome back to this channel. My name is Sarah and Karib Sana. Welcome back to this channel. I am a first time mom mm -hmm. and I work from home. I am a freelance writer. On this channel, we focus on two things working from home and motherhood. My baby is four months. I mean, my baby is four months and next week he would be five months. That's a milestone as a new mom. And I am so happy about it yeah today before we go on please do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification button also share the video and give it a thumb up yeah today i am here to talk about the things that i take to increase my breast milk supply my baby is free on breast milk and he will continue up to his six months the doctors Everybody advocates for it and it's safe for your baby to breast to to breastfeed I'm at up to six months. Yeah, I take various things and the first thing that I take is water. I talked about in my last video about water. I take about two maybe two to three bottles of this and this is one one point something. I mean, 800 ml, it's not one, it's 800 ml. I take about two to three, each and every day. Yeah. The second thing I take is chai. And for chai, I take cocoa without sugar. Okay, sugar is optional after giving birth. But young when you to eat curry, I don't know why. He tumbles in your chai without sugar, but nowadays, I just take cocoa without sugar, but there's a certain cocoa in a conga sweet and in a conga nascari kidogo. That's what I take. Yeah. The other thing that I take is soup, bone soup. I boil soup or I buy either. Kama sina mispa boil, I just buy. Nikikwa now, I just boil. I blend it, then akunya. It's very delicious and it increases your milk supply. My this doesn't seem a magic carry, but soups, <laughs> soups are really good. Yeah, for the foods that I eat, the soups, you know, something to do with breastfeeding. You must take in liquids. I mean, unakunya kichwa kukunya not only food but kukunya. That's what will push the milk amateur. Is going to facilitate the production of milk. I am not sure. I am not a professional. This is just my experience. sana. The more you drink, the more milk you're going to produce. However, you must also take strong foods and food is also again as it Remember, you just gave birth and your body is not strong. I know many people will not understand. I personally do not understand about this. Before you give birth. You can't understand how the experience of giving birth and maybe when this came back now, can I go over the to know after giving birth you will understand and therefore you will need to take in strong food. The first thing that I take is njahe. Yeah, my kikuyu people njahe. Njahe are very important and they facilitate the production of milk. I know what you know. You have added weight, girl. Yes, you may add weight, but that's for my sake, for the sake of my baby. I know I have added weight. Uh, I am not complaining. After the baby, to tell me to But for now, it's only about weight, Hapa. Yeah. The first thing I take is njahe. I just, I, I don't, skuza kwanza kwanza, I would take njahe plain. I'm a baby, come as you, but siku penda. But my, I was told, or rather my mom told, who next, mokimo. So I mix with waru's and mandis and then I smash them and tengeneza a very good mokimo. That facilitates production of milk. Sana. The second thing that I take is anything. I mean, 
anything with wheat ngano chapos mandazi mkate anything with wheat facilitates the production of milk yeah and this is my experience niki kuna chapo ama mandazi sisi kwa sa maziwa the facilitated production i don't know how it works but whenever you take chapos especially maybe you take one to two chapos in a last few the whole night tutakuwa na maziwa mingi sana mingi yeah the that thing eat ugani and vegetables that also pushes milk production i am not sure how all these things work but this is my experience i will keep saying that mtu asenda kusema nini no this is my experience vegetables are very important they are also healthy for your baby and for your cells and <coughs> they will push the production of milk however kuna vitu sometimes when i take them they don't push the production of milk Amas those days i experienced low production of milk for instance like mchele nikikuna mchele the production of milk drops and i have observed this for for few days for certain days it doesn't mean i don't take it i just complement it come out today i'm taking mchele i will take soup because soup in a produce production sana another thing when you have push meal for instance spaghetti and meat by the way meat doesn't push the production of milk according to me another thing that doesn't push production of milk maybe potatoes napenda kutengeneza oven baked potatoes they don't push milk what else the berry doesn't push milk however i take it okay kuna in the traditional way you taking the berry and some cabbages it doesn't push the production of milk and when you trust feeding your main main goal anything you eat anything you put in your mouth in a kwanga you focusing on the production of milk because you don't want your baby to go hungry and you don't want to feel guilty at you didn't take enough to produce enough milk yeah another thing that i take I, that's all by the way anything else that i take to increase the milk production i do not take any supplements i know some people do take supplements to increase the production but i do not take any supplements also the baby is not on any supplements as of now yeah uh anything else there's nothing else the baby is big the baby is held very soon you're going to see him and that's all for today guys please share with me some of the things that you think ama some of the things that you know ama anything that you've taken you know that may increase the production of milk as for today that's all see you in the next one guys do not forget to subscribe and turn on the notification button also share the video